Speaking of that, Rance, let's check in and see what's happened in there. And we have two screens right now, and I think this works for us. Rance, what's going on? Two screens works great. I'm sure I fill out the one all by myself, but that's a whole nother animal. I'm hanging out inside the pizza cave with my lady Shayna and their pies that they feature here. And oh, so the goal is to see if I can make it through this whole segment without taking a bite until the end. But <laughs> just kidding. But Mark, you've been to the pizza cave multiple times and you've seen it. You really have to come in and experience it for yourself. I know we've got some video that people see, but I'm walking in here for the first time and I'm like, mind blown. Do you get that a lot when people come in? They do like grown men come in and they just turn into little tiny children when they... <gasps> You know, it's it and it it doesn't get old at all for us seeing that reaction. So I'm visualizing like maybe some Peter Pan, maybe some Avatar and oh, I'm putting ideas out. She's looking at me marketing. I will take my cut. But all right. So you guys here at the Pizza Cave, obviously pizza. Tell me about it for those that we've got so many newbies that have moved into town. They don't know about what's going on here in Five Points. Yeah, so the nightlife in Five Points and all of the entertainment in Five Points is something that we've benefited from and been a part of creating. Um, when we first got here, do you know there were 14 empty retail spaces on this block? Crazy, right? That's 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so our kitchen became the source of a lot of people's lunches and dinners at the movies and then also just because there weren't a lot of other places to eat and our pizza is so darn good so people would come and sit in the lobby this space became available oh, 2019 the end of 2019 um, it's attached to our existing kitchen and so we built it out like this cave uh, over time as caves are wont to form and uh, so the very very same menu expanded from our theater is available here in the pizza cave so, like I said, you come in here and there's plenty of space for everybody to hang out. And, I mean, they've got the adult beverages. They've got the za. And we'll talk about more about the za when you go over to the Sunray because you can actually order pizza from here and have it delivered over there. But we'll cross that bridge in a second. But I really want to touch on you guys are giving back to the community in a big way. Can you tell me a little about that? So I love that you mentioned goals. So your goal is to get through this without eating a slice of pizza. A lot of kids in Duval County and all over have all kinds of reading goals that they're looking to meet. And so we were kind of inspired by their reading goals and some old school programs. You might remember Book It or mm -hmm. the Burger King Kids, mm -hmm. right? And we created this program called the Pizza Cave Kids Club. We've got four schools that are enrolled in it this year, which is really exciting. It's our second round with West Riverside Elementary and then Windy Hill Elementary, Pinedale Elementary. Elementary and Ruth Upson, so neighborhood schools and then beyond are on board with this program. So their kiddos, they got a flyer that looks like this that goes home with them. And then at the end of the first quarter, if they met their reading goal, they get this cool card that allows them to come in for a free 10 inch pizza, which is a personal pie on us every single time they want to come in. Lunch or dinner, however many times a week, if you met your reading goal and you're a kid at one of those schools, you get to come in starting in October. Oh, and then don't forget to hit them. So most people are like, oh, I know the pizza cave. I'm showing up for like half happy hours, stuff like that. But no, we've expanded how? Yeah, so our lunch special is, is really exciting. So we started opening at 11.30. And then our happy hour slices are still there from 4 to 6. Um, the, the, some of the very best slices in town, and now you can get them at lunch Tuesday through Saturday. All right, well, I made it through. I'm about to eat. Maybe by the time we get to Sunray, I'll be finished, or maybe I'll just keep it like that. So, Jana, unfortunately, we'll have to make a return trip because I ain't sharing. Mark, what you got? 